Keith's KARK4 today. All right, welcome back. Now, while people are getting ready for that eclipse that's happening today, it's uh, best to make sure you take these precautions before looking up to the sky. That's why we got Dr. Baltz in here this morning to help us understand why we've been telling people this. And I say this as many times as we've said this to our viewers, there's always going to be someone who says, I'm sure it's not that bad. And they'll do one of these right here. You saying that's a no go. That's a no go. Yeah. How fast can damage happen just by looking up? Even if it is total eclipse, the corona around, that can still damage your eye. How fast or how long would it take? Just a few seconds. Wow. Just a few very seconds. Quickly. Yeah, yes. very, extremely quickly. So uh, that being said, we were going to tell you all different ways that you can take in the eclipse. You know, we've all seen these, right, Doc? You yes. know, we've got these glasses, but you've brought some other interesting ways. One that you actually prefer to take the eclipse in as. Can you tell us about it? So indirect way is to make a pinhole occluder okay and project the image past you onto another solid background and you can watch the eclipse that way so you would see the sun in the, you would see it all but essentially just through a shadow is yes, that how that works exactly so fascinating exactly. Uh, how that would work so this is a quick and easy way if people don't i mean you could probably set this up to view it multiple ways so just get you a little what is this, manila folders manila folder. i ain't called one of those yeah. i have one of these right. since high school all right uh, get one of these so it'll pass through through another projection you also brought uh, some other things that uh have like little pinholes in it that you yep. can see through colander spatula at home with little pinholes in it yeah will work for indirect viewing there's no risk of damage to your eyes that way no risk at all so i asked you you know obviously we have these glasses and you say the the correct i uh, iso is do you know this it should have it on there right somewhere yes. one um, two three one two, two one two three make sure that they're the right way to go when you put them on like right now in studio you shouldn't be able to see anything but even with that being said you still prefer to view it this way. Why is that? Uh, it's just for safe. Just for safety? Yes. Dang, yes. that's that's crazy. Yeah. So uh, all that being said, uh, when it comes to eye care and everything like this, if somebody happens to get into a bind mm -hmm. and they don't pay attention to us, could they come to you and see your clinic for a little sure. help? Yes. How would they go about that? Just make a call, Little Rock Eye Clinic. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yes. How long you been in business? Oh, 20 years. Yeah. How many times have you just had people come in for just looking at the sun? Zero. Zero. Yes, zero. All right. So hopefully we can keep that uh, trend yes. going up here today. Information, a website they can go to learn more about eye protection and maybe if they're having issues with anything. Uh, come to our website, but yeah. the American Academy of Ophthalmology okay. has it and they've got a lot of stuff about these indirect viewers okay. and way to make them. Okay. Um, so but our website has a little bit. Okay. Quick and easy. All right. Well, I'm, I know you want to do it this way, Doc, because you said you want to feel safe the way. I'm probably going to go ahead and hold it down with these glasses. Yep. All right. Yep. So am I still safe with that? You're or? safe. You're okay, very safe. Good. Okay. Just give it a shot. Just for like a second. Okay. All right. I'll He's going to do it. He's going to do it. All right, Doc. <laughs> thanks so much for coming on. All right.